Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make pictures like this one, this one, this one, this one, and maybe that one if you want. So basically how you do this is this was originally just a long exposure of some Christmas lights and I blurred out the image and the original picture was this. So this came from this. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So I would like to show you how to do this. What you need to do is you need to take a long exposure photo like this one or any type of photo works. You can do it with anything. If you don't know how to take a long exposure photo, go to my blog and I will tell you how to do that really quick. Um, but basically, you start off with a picture. Let me get out of these. Okay, so you start off with. Uh, let's just use this one. Okay, you start out with this. And you want to make it look way more cooler than it already already does. So what I did right there to change the colors, I just went to image auto tone and that fixed it. So um what I like to do is I like to make it square. So I I select the marquee tool, I hold down shift and I drag my mouse down to make a square and then I crop by going to image crop. Okay, so then I go to image, canvas size. Actually, I'm, let me um, resize this really quick because it's pretty big. I'm going to make it 25% less just for the sake of quickness. Okay, so uh, back to what I was saying. You go to image, canvas size, and then you click percent. And you type in 200 in both of the fields and then you can click any corner any one corner that you want so I'm just gonna pick that just for the sake of it and then with a plugin called quick mirror which I will put in the description so you can download it yourself you quick mirror this thing and it mirrors it all four ways it just flips it so that's one way of doing it you can also add to this effect by duplicating the layer um, you duplicate it, you push control T and then you rotate that layer 90 degrees and then you go to the blend mode here and you pick a blend mode that you like so I'm gonna go with uh, screen hit apply now I'm going to flatten the layer and I'm gonna fix the colors again by going to image tone okay so that looks nice but we can also screw this up even more with another plugin. Um, the plugin is called Flexify, and I will also put a link to that in the description. Okay. Whoa. So let me fix some things really here. Let me fix some things here. We want stereographic, because I like stereographic the most. So. Here it is. You can more because it's mirrored. You can morph the image any way you like, and it's nice. It just makes things look great. Okay, so that's about it, basically. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, let me show you one more thing. Another thing that you can do is you can mirror this several times. So if I go to canvas size again and type in say 300% and I won't really have to move any of the arrows click OK and mirror it again you get a pattern. Okay so you get that and that looks pretty nice. I mean you can use this for stuff. <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to try the quick mirror thing again really quick. Uh, filter quick 
no, I'm going to do flexify again. So, load. Come on. So here we are. Get out of this. <laughs> so as you can see, you if you mirror it more times, you can make different things come out of it. And um, yeah. And then you can also mirror this again and keep on doing it over and over again until you get a really crazy pattern. So I'm gonna hit OK and just deal with that. And that's how you do it. Um, if you want to learn more, go to my blog, photoextremist.com, and I will give you more information. Thank you, and goodbye. The loading bar is done. <laughs>